Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You got something for us today. I, I heard. absolutely do. Yo, so this has been a great summer. Uh, also one of the hottest ones that we have ever had. Yeah. I guess almost in the history. over. Yeah. And it's almost over. Um, I also had my, my, my very first this summer, Jonas. And first I'm love? Little- I'm, I'm, look, I'm embarrassed to talk about it. Oh, I'm there we go. Of, I'm go. a little shy, all right? I just Your first to, blue bonnet picture in it, Texas? It's just that I've gone my entire life, and I've never experienced this. And this summer, I got my cherry popped. Oh. And it, it was it was an experience. There was, it was feelings that I've never felt before. Not all of them good, but, you know, I, I'd, never, I'd never give them up for what anything. What was his name? Um, I got my first sunburn this, this summer. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, did yeah, i tried summer. to tell you it was a bad idea and you were like whatever i'm out here doing whatever i want so in austin texas there is a what do you call it it's like a lazy two, river two river it's not a lazy river it's a real river i mean it definitely is a real river but it's a little lazy it's called tubing the river most of it's lazy it, man people tube the river all over the place yeah i mean but it's it's i don't know it's this is the first time i've ever seen anything quite like this i'm, I'm sure it does happen elsewhere but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody gets inner tubes, and we float down a dirty ass river with snakes and rapids and yep. rocks and things, and people get drunk and They're... girls fall asleep in the tubes and vomit in coolers <laughs> and you know all the stuff that happens on a regular old. Yeah. People can't control themselves. People are too drunk. People we are definitely... drinking vodka out of the bottle. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, people get on these tubes and they'll bring like their big ass speakers, and then they'll be blasting music. And there's just so many people. There's like hundreds of people. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's drunk. There's snakes in the freaking water. There's turtles and snakes. The water's filthy. Everybody's pissing in it. It's like, oh yeah, and some people are just in it and all day, just, just like in you know, it. They're just, just like, oh, it don't matter. I want, I want. To swim in the river. I want to swim in the river. Nah, fam. Hey, I think I go over rocks and shit. And you yeah. get caught, dude. Tubes pop. You got to blow them up with your mouth. So this summer, it's been over 100 degrees for like a month. I think straight. this Tuesday, this, I don't know what day this week this is coming out, but this past Tuesday, was it only got to like 98. Yeah. So it finally broke the streak. It was like 40 days in a row of over 100 degrees, which yeah. is an all-time record in Austin. And then it's immediately right back to over 100. So it's mm-hmm. like... It, and then if it, we're gonna go to Ve- then we're going to Vegas and it's gonna be a hundred there too. So it's like we're just yeah. it, we're gonna be used to it though. Yeah, it'll be fine for us out there. I oh, think. it'll be even drier than it is here. Yeah, it's even better different. when it's drier. So as as a, as a tourist to having sunburn, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about. Yeah, but it. you didn't get like real sunburn. Wow, Jonas, look, don't belittle my sunburn. That shit was real. All right? <laughs> Whatever. Somebody you slapped me on the back and it hurt. Oh, you got the. You, oh, I thought you were you were playing it off like oh it's whatever, dude. It's- no, dude slapped me on the back and i was like ow yeah i mean he hit me hard because we were we won at foosball (laughs) he hit me hard and i was like ow also i got the peeling yeah oh i will put it a little disclaimer if i would have done what he would have done i would have went to the hospital okay so i so yeah i guess i did basically in 105 degree sun I wore no sunscreen. I know what no, you're saying. No sunscreen and sleeveless shirt the and entire a, day. And a sleeveless shirt the entire day. I have not. My arms and face are still not the right color yet. Yeah. I, what did I wear? A long sleeve sun shirt and a bucket hat. Yeah. Like, that's what I wore out there all day. So, um, <laughs> obviously, my arms got sunburned. Like, uh, I won't say bad, but it was, it was, it was, it was you're, pretty bad. You're just like, look how dark I <laughs> am. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm Jamaican black right now. I am. Dude, I'm freaking midnight. But look, sir. So I, I need to ask you something about the peeling skin. Is yeah. there something that you could do for that? Uh, I mean, mo- moisturizer. Just lotion. Yeah, I mean, people you put aloe on it because it, but it, it lo- doesn't really make it heal. It just doesn't make it hurt. It like helps soothe the burn. Okay, so so I wasn't really having like so much of the pain issue, but my arm looked like I had leprosy. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll just it'll peel like a bee, dude. It'll yeah, and I think it show. I think like it shows up a little bit more predominantly on me because like the can, white, this flaky skin is like white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it I looks like you. I have goddamn psoriasis, like literally. Yeah, man, it, it gets you, man. So like, that was a little annoying, but uh, but it'll get really bad because when I was in Mexico, when yeah. I was coming home, there was I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. He was a dark skinned gentleman. I don't know. Uh, but his shoulders were pink because he got burnt so bad. 
some guy was like, what the hell happened to you? And he was like, oh, I was out in the sun too long. And like, he was like brown skinned, but his shoulders were pink because it, it burnt and peeled so bad. It like got down to that layer of like bro, skin. And I was crazy. like, bro, what the hell did you do? To yourself? Bro, you got like, like second degree burns on your shoulders, man. Right. Exactly. I was like, you got, mo you were out there more than like a little bit. Like you, you were out there to like, you literally cooked yourself. Bro. Like you weren't, I mean, yeah, you, you got, yeah, you got some peeling skin, but like it, it wasn't, it didn't look bad. I, I need to, that scene out enough to turn a, a black man pink is just kind of, that's enough crazy. to turn a black man pink. <laughs> I feel like that's a use, bar in some song somewhere. I'm going to use that. In, huh. <laughs> oh, it's hot enough to turn a black man pink out there. <laughs> Say that in front of your mom one day to see what she says. <laughs> She'd be like, what? I love it. I do. I, I need to ask you this, Jonas. Uh-huh. You've had peeling before. Yeah, yeah. I uh, Not in a long time because I, 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 I take it serious now. So now, this is a personal question a little bit. Okay. I need to ask you, you ever, uh, you ever take a little taste? A taste of my skin? Yeah. Be honest. No. Get the f you are lying. You are god. I've asked this question of so many other Caucasians. What I, I sprinkle it on my salad? No, I mean, but you've definitely been like you've got like a lump. You're like, oh heck yeah, let me just like see what that feels like on my tongue. No, let me ingest it like I've a lizard. Never, it's never even thought. It's never even crossed what my do mind. What do you do with the peeled skin? You wash it off. Where's your animalistic integrity? I don't know. I've asked this question of so many other people, and I swear. Majority of people have told me that they eat it. That they've eaten it. They've eaten their not own all of it. I don't but know, like, man. That doesn't sound like a right answer. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something people would say. They told me, Joe, that they were like they want to make you feel better because you no, told them. No, 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 no. They encouraged me to do it. They, <laughs> like, oh, you just lick your arm, suck it all off. <laughs> so, so I'm like, and they're like, "Oh, dude, you ever take a little taste of that?" And I was like, "No." And they're like, "Give it a little, give, take a little taste. Take a little taste. That's like, it doesn't taste it's like, like when you're like, say something racist, Jonas. Just say no, it. It's listen, like that. What the? How is eating your own? Look, you bite your freaking fingernails. Sometimes you ingest, you ingest, you ingest a little bit, right? I mean, I haven't bit my fingernails in a long time. There's a whole community of booger eaters out there, whether you like it or All not. All people that taste their own seed, though, too. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with it. That's actually a thing. <laughs> That's actually, I don't know. It might have been a creative writing assignment, but that is a thing. I, I saw it on the internet. It has to be true. <laughs> um, everything on there is true. I'm just saying is that there are people out there doing this. Okay. And good so, for them. I don't know. There's maybe, people who eat the stuffing from cushions on the couch, I'm too. not listening, man. I'm, I'm not saying them. is that I make a meal of it or a, a habit. Meal, a meal of it. <laughs> like, I'm not sitting there with a knife and fork eating a, a, a plate of flake skin. Like, a, like an SOS pad, just like scraping it on a yeah. pet egg. Yeah. It up, that'd be like using a pet egg on your foot and just like, eh, let's see what it tastes like, salting it up. It's, no, because that's your foot. That's a little bit different. Why is that gross? Um, I would be more likely to eat your kiss, arm skin over your foot skin. I would be more likely to kiss a another human, preferably a woman, on the <laughs> arm than I would on the bottom of the feet. Like to preferably a woman in there. Yeah, <laughs> I, on, on on there. If you told me to kiss you on your bicep, it would take less money for me to do that than it would for me to kiss you on the bottom of your foot. That's I my mean, point. that's a true statement. It I'm would take it, it, it would take less money for me to kiss you on your bicep than on your hand, because your hands are gross. I've seen what you do. Oh, you, <laughs> right? you don't want to know where my hands are. If been. anything, I would say is that the arm is the least offensive part of another human to kiss and or lick. What about their mouth? No, I don't. I mean, it's still offensive. Even when I'm talking about like if we're talking about a, a stranger, I don't oh. necessarily want to kiss a stranger on the mouth. I don't want to necessarily kiss a stranger on the face. I don't want to kiss a stranger on the neck. I don't want to kiss a stranger on the chest. I don't want to kiss you on your stomach. I definitely don't want to kiss you on your thighs. That's too close to your crotch. I'm not kissing you on your freaking <laughs> calf. That's just weird. I, but I guess it's probably second in line to the shoulder or arm area. And I definitely don't want to kiss you on your feet. Ass is out of the question. Back is probably number three on the list. But I'd have to say the least of Offensive would be forearm, uh, bicep. Bicep's probably the least offensive. Bicep I'm is probably you, the least. You've broken it down like this. It's really opened my eyes to making out with other people's body parts. So for me to say that I ate 
a piece of skin from the least offensive part of my body, I don't think I should be persecuted for that. I, no and it's not like I'm making a habit of it or I made a meal of no it. I didn't make person. a I didn't make a I flake think you're, skin the only sandwich. Persecuting you is you. I didn't make I didn't like sprinkle it in the ramen noodles. You should have. I didn't like put it on a hot dog. You I didn't like made a Caesar salad be your parm. I didn't roll it up and smoke it in the blunt. That's what you should have <laughs> done. Right. You smoked <laughs> next your time, skin. Jonas. Next yeah. time. I'm just saying it's like, yo, there's people out here who've done it. Roll I'm not the only snack. one. What's little that? arm snack. It was like a one-time thing. You get you get curious, and I have to I have to put the disclaimer out here is that for one thing, I know Jonas is lying because he's been sunburned when he was a child, and every child has done it. I've, that is what I've been told I've by every single person. It. Every single person I've asked about it has told me that as a child, yes, but as an adult, like why? I don't know. And then they were like, "You should do it. Try it once." <laughs> I don't. What when kind of people do you have in your life? I'm just Who's saying, when, I feel, when I feel the need to explain to people that my arms look like this because I do not have a contagious disorder, and then they're like, oh, well, what happened? Oh, I actually got my first sunburn. Oh, congratulations, your first sunburn, and you're like, this old? I'm like, yeah. I'm and then they're like, old. you should eat it. <laughs> That's the second thing they say. Congratulations, you should eat your flesh. It can't, no, it can't, this like came up as like a, hey, you ever, and I was like, no, should I? They're like, dude, if you never, if this is your if first you time. you never nibbled you, on your stuff. They were like, if this is your first time, you have to. That's like when you go to a hooker? No. It's your first time you have to? Why are you equate this to that? It's not even that. This is like, I don't know, like farting on your bed. Hey, why don't y'all tell us about your first time? Because that's all the time we got to <laughs> go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. It's like you eating vanilla ice cream. <laughs> TNT. Oh, uh, we out.